We're in a new chapter, chapter three, all about how to multiply two digit numbers. We're at lesson 3.1, and these are strategies to multiply two digits by tens. We can use strategies to multiply by tens. We can use place value, mental math, the commutative property of multiplication, a number line, or the associative property of multiplication. So remember, the associative property of multiplication is the grouping property, and it states that we can group factors in different ways and still get the same product. We can have 2 times 3 times 4 in parentheses. We do the parentheses first, so that's 2 times 12. That's equal to 24. If we put the 2 and the 3 into the parentheses and group them differently, we have 2 times 3 is 6. Now we have 6 times 4, and that's equal to 24. So it doesn't matter how we group them. If it's all multiplication, we can group them and still get the same product. The commutative property of multiplication states that when the order of two factors is changed, the product is the same. 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. We can multiply in any order and get the same product. And we can use the associative and commutative properties together. We have 25 times 5 times 4 in parentheses. Well, that would be 25 times 20. We could also put friendlier numbers together and group the 25 and the 4 together by using the commutative property to rearrange these two in a different order. We think there's four quarters in a dollar, so four times 25 is 100. Now we can do 100 times five. That's a lot easier. That's 500. We can multiply tens using place value. We have 30 times 20. We can think of it as 30 times two tens. That would be 2 times 30, which is 60 tens. We'd have 60 tens, which is equal to 600. And we can multiply basic facts and use mental math with the number of zeros in the factors. We have 30 times 20. We think of the basic facts. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. There's two zeros in the factors. We put two zeros in the product. We have 600. The number of zeros in the factors will be the number of zeros in the product. We learned about that with mental math in video 2.3, which is linked in the description. We can multiply tens using properties. We can use the associative property of multiplication. We have 30 times 20, and we can look at the 20 as a 2 times 10. We do 30 times 2 times 10. We regroup with the associative property, and we multiply 30 times 20, which is 60. We multiply 60 times 10, which is 600. It's 1 times 6 with two zeros in the product, isn't it? We could also look at it as 10 times 2 instead of 2 times 10. And we can multiply 30 times 10 times 2. 30 times 10 would be 1 times 3 with two zeros, wouldn't it? So we'd have a 3 with two zeros. It would be 300. We can multiply that by 2 and get 600. We can use a number line to multiply 12 times 20. We can think of it as 12 times 2. We skip count by 2's 12 times. We have 12 hops here. And that would be 24. So 12 times 20, we would skip count by 20 12 times. And we would have 240. We can multiply using mental math to find 16 times 30. We can use halving and doubling. We learned that in video 2.8, which is also linked in the description. We divide this 16 by 2 to cut it in half, and that would be an 8. Then we multiply 8 times 30. Then we double the product. Half of 16 is 8, so 8 times 30 would be like an 8 times 3, which is 24, with one zero that is in the factor, so there's going to be one zero in the product. We have 240. Now we double the 240 by multiplying it by 2, and that's 480. 
So 16 times 30 is equal to 480. Dividing by 2 makes half. Multiplying by 2 makes double. The factors in the equation will help us decide which strategy to use. We have an equation like 40 times 20. We can use the strategy mental math and multiply basic facts, 2 times 4. And the number of zeros in the factors is the number of zeros in the product. We have 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. We have two zeros, so we'd have an 8 with two zeros. That would be 800. For 12 times 20, we could use halving and doubling. And this works with even numbers. So 12 is an even number. We could even cut 20 in half to be a 10. That's an even number because they're easily divided by 2. We multiply half of one factor, then we double that product. So half of 12 is a 6. 6 times 20 is 120. When we double the product, we have 240. We can also use the mental math with this one. We can do 2 times 12, which is 24, and we have a 0 that we would put into the product and we'd have 240. So we could also use mental math with that one, couldn't we? We can use the associative property with this one. We have 30 times 15. We can think of the 15 as a 5 times 3. And we can regroup it to be 30 times 5 first. 30 times 5 is 150. We multiply that by 3, we get 450. So the factors can help us figure out which strategy would be the best or easiest one to use. Lisa baked 385 cookies. She put 12 cookies each into 30 boxes. How many cookies are left? So we need to multiply. She put 12 cookies into 30 boxes, 12 times 30. So we can use halving and doubling. We can cut 12 in half, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and we can do 6 times 30. That's equal to 180. We have 6 times 3 with a 0, don't we? So we have 18 with a 0, that's 180. Then we double the 180. 180 times 2 is 360 cookies that are in the boxes. That's the 12 cookies each in 30 boxes. We could also use mental math by multiplying basic facts of 12 times 3 and putting one zero in the product. 12 times 3 is equal to 36. We have one zero that we put into the product. We have 360 cookies in boxes. Now we need to subtract to find the difference between 385 and 360. 385 minus 360 is equal to 25 cookies left. Every morning, Mr. Lee sweeps inside his store for 20 minutes and outside his store for 15 minutes. Now, how many minutes will Mr. Lee sweep after 10 days? So we need to add the 20 plus the 15 minutes to know how many minutes he sweeps per day. 20 plus 15 is equal to 35 minutes per day. Now we need to multiply 35 minutes by 10 days because we need to know how many minutes he'll sweep after 10 days. 35 times 10 is equal to 350 minutes after 10 days. We can do 35 times 10. There's a zero in the factors, so we'd have 1 times 35 with a zero. We'd have 350. Our equation could be 20 plus 15, and we would do inside the parentheses and get our 35, and then we would multiply that by the 10 for the 10 days. 35 times 10 is equal to 350 minutes that he would sweep in 10 days. The product of my number and twice my number is 288. What is half my number? We can make a table to test factors that are a number and two times that number. So it's a number and two times that number to be twice my number. So we need my number, whatever it is, times twice my number, 
and it's supposed to equal 288. We can try a 6 for my number. Twice 6 is a 12, so we do 6 times 12. That's equal to 72, and that's too small. That's not 288. We can try another number, 8. Twice that number would be 16, and 8 times 16, we would do 8 times 6, which is 48. We would regroup the 4 and put the 8 down. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 more is 12. We have 128, and that's too small. So it's not 8 and 16. We can try 10 as my number. When we do twice 10, we get 20. But 10 times 20 is equal to 200, and that's still too small. So we can go to 12, and twice 12 would be a 24. We do 12 times 24. We have 24 times 12. We can use having and doubling if we don't know how to do two digits by two digits. Half of 12 is a 6, so we do 24 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. We regroup the 2, put the 4 down. We do 6 times 2. This would be 6 times 2 tens, wouldn't it? That's 12, 13, 14 tens. We put the 1 and the 4 down here. We have 144. Now, we do the doubling. We do 144 times 2, which is 288. And that fits. If we have 12 as my number, twice my number would be 24, and it would be equal to 288. Now it wants to know what is half my number. Well, we know my number is 12. Half my number is 12 divided by 2. It must be 6. So we used a table to help us, and we did guess and check. We guessed what the numbers could be, and we checked to see if it fit. Our next lesson, 3.2, is about estimating products when we're multiplying two-digit factors. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm so proud of you. I know I say that a lot, but I am. And I'll see you next time. Bye.